Good time of day, everybody. Does that sound like Vodossi? Anyway, Hammerhold campaign just dropped today. Like, if you're asking if I've not played it uh, before now, I ain't playing it on my goddamn phone. I don't. Nobody games on that piece of shit. Come on. Steam releases, where's that? Just bought it when I came home and I'm. I've just had something to eat and we're fucking ready, we're fucking ready to dive in, into this. I haven't, I've not seen anything, not watched any YouTube video, nothing, haven't played any of it yet. We're just gonna jump in, see what we got. Just give you my raw reaction to this. Probably gonna stream it over the next few days. <clears throat> so, Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see. We actually get the towers. The, the tower and the hero included. So you don't have to like unlock it along the way. Oh! This campaign has a high difficulty level. Okay, alright, alright. So I gotta try hard then. Okay, if you say so, Ironhide. If you say so. Okay, but if that's true, that's a, that's a good move because it's a paid DLC. So only like. The the people that really care are actually gonna play this game, this DLC. So jump up to difficulty. Thank you. But I, that's actually because the main complaint with the or one of the big complaints with Vengeance is that it's too easy. So I mean they they they're listening. They're listening at least. All right, sounds good. I, I hope I hope this is gonna be challenging. I hope I hope it is. This is gonna be nice to watch. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it. I haven't played it either. I don't think I'll watch much since I don't want to spoil myself. Oh yeah, too bad. That's kind of the downside, like why I wanted to wait a little bit. But then it came out on phone first. And I was like, fuck this shit, man. Like, why couldn't they just wait a week to just release it? on all platforms at the same time. Why? Why? Nobody would have complained, man. You couldn't have said anything about it. it was all like people wouldn't know you had it ready for the phone. Just why? It, uh, Ironhide, just please release all your content on all platforms at the same time. It's 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 really just the best move to generate as much hype as possible. So yeah. But yeah, sad to see that you can't watch it. But I totally understand because I wouldn't be watching this if I were you, <clears throat> if I was in your shoes. But yeah, so the bare minimum I expect for this is uh, levels that are of the same quality. Wait, no, there's five of them. I expect levels of higher quality, of like a little higher quality than the uh, Primal Ravage campaign. Those were actually solid. But this is a paid DLC, so I my expect expectations are kind of set high. I expect them to do something uh, interesting with the bosses, not just like this poor boss design, whatever straightforward. Like do at, at least with some of them, it's fine if like one of them or two of them is like basic, you know, the mini bosses. But do do something interesting with Shatra and his UFO, like flying mini boss, would be cool. I I and and seeing this message. I expect at least the, the final one to be sort of difficult. You know, Umbra difficulty. I'll be happy. Just give me something. The, the boss fights are always so weak. Uh, how much was this DLC? Uh, it cost me um, 7.8 euros. So you can convert that to whatever currency. Oh, Selena is here. Hey, girl. Oh, hey, a KI live streamer who actually streams on like someone with a skill issue that I know. Well, I've, I've spent like the first uh, five minutes just talking, which is the equivalent of pausing. So, but yeah, I, I just had to generate some hype, you know, talk a little bit about it before we go into it. And then people can start showing up. Have a holly jolly Christmas. You too, man. I'm betting that it, it's gonna be at some point. Um, they're probably gonna fiddle with it. 
Well, I don't know, maybe maybe this is gonna be uh, revengeance quality. Who knows? Anyway, what, what hero should we pick for the first stage? Should I mean I hear this guy's trash and I, I don't I don't really care. <laughs> I also gotta level him up and if these stages are difficult. I will, well we got we gotta try him. Hang on, no no no, not on this. We gotta try him at least, but I'm probably just gonna switch when I realize he's dog shit. Calls upon a deadly storm that generates that greatly slows enemies in an area while dealing 120 area damage. This fed summons a pool of boiling blood that curses enemies, making them receive 25% more damage from all sources. Only 25? Alright, that goes up to 75. Okay. Alright, these seem pretty basic. Cast a deadly curse that transforms an enemy with less than 500 HP into an adorable frog. So you can click him. So he has an, an insta kill. Okay. I, I'm assuming you can click the frog. Because you can with the witches. Uh, this, this ability sounds uh, pretty good, I guess. I'll, we, we'll start with this one and then get this tier 1. But it's only an, an enemy with like a certain amount of HP. Alright, let's go. Wait, no, I forgot. We're playing Vengeance. We gotta also just sit here and customize the towers. Oh, don't you just love this? <laughs> I always like love streaming Vengeance because it takes forever for me to actually go in and play the stage I want to play because I gotta sit. Like, I gotta pick my hero, I gotta set up the towers, oh my god, I don't know what to pick for this stage. Oh, uh, and by the way, there's been some balance changes to this, which is, I'm really hyped for, but honestly, it's, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. For, like, I've, Duke showed me the change log, no, 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 they, they haven't even done anything to the harassers, man. They have 140 DPS, and that's without Aerostone. Then it goes up to 190 something. Well, probably a little less because they also gotta like, like the time they they spend like using Aerostorm, they can't like basic attack, so it's probably something like 160 or 170. But still fucking nuts. The basic attack is double the base attack of the Bone Flingers, which is already really good. So, anyway. Oh, it's the Chaos Man. Welcome to the stream. By the way, um, I fucking love chaos mode, and I'm, I'm I've actually, well, the only reason I, I really want to like go back to chaos mode and play it all over again now that it's been changed uh, a lot. When I find the time, though, um, I'm in the middle of uh, recording a new video. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. Let's pick the towers and go into the first stage. God damn it! Uh, Dark Knights, sure. Let's let, let's use this tower. Why not? Uh, get this, I guess. Man, we really gotta have another mage because I feel like this one is like Luster. We're, we're doing this. We're doing this. Let's see. Like, I've no idea what to pick anyway. This is a genuine elf apple. The last one how the last one now that Visnan I, th I thought said how has in invaded Lineria. I'll tell you wise old man that Finhorn wizard would never dare attack Hammerhold by Nurma I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. No. Nope. Okay. Cool comic. You Oh, he's slow. Jesus Christ. Oh, so these are enemy towers. Correct? Are they gonna... Wait, hang on. Are they gonna attack my barrack? Yeah, they are! Dude. These levels up. Okay. That's hype. Me and, like, Pollux analyzed it. But I think we concluded that they didn't attack our allies. But they actually... They actually do. Jesus Christ, man, these stages are already, like, the stage has 
so much more going on than any other stage in Vengeance already. And I've only like seen this for like five seconds. Like, look at all this. Give me the achievement. All right. How did this guy not see an entire fleet of ships and dragons? It's a comic, don't worry about it. I've, oh, I've almost finished the desert station for KRF chaos mode right now, so look forward to that. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, that's gonna be the winning formula. Kingdom Rush, Frontiers with mods. Man, all the. All the rushes are gonna love that. I'm gonna get some views. I think I have to use them. No spoilers, goddammit, no spoilers. Okay, let's actually start setting up. I so, see this brings a whole new dynamic because you don't want to set up a choke point here. Oh. Nothing but insect. Hmm, okay, so we, we gotta try the new tower, right? Control your body. Control your body. Control I've never heard that voice lines. <laughs> Always just blast music. So, that's kind of cursed. Uh, let's get this thing here. Okay, knock off uh, Ignis Alder. That's, I'm kind of excited to see how this works. I'm, I'm kind of expecting it. It looks like a knockoff Ignisola. Find your center. Oh, no, I actually, uh, hang on. I want this. Get the bonus gold. Oh, fuck off. The range are, the range is huge, man. What? Holy shit, dude. Dude, chill. Okay, so is is this just global range? Wait, now he attacks Isfit. What? What? I thought he couldn't attack the hero. Wait, I, I didn't get any pop up for the new enemy. What the hell? Okay, so how does this tower work? Dude, it's literally just Ignazola. <laughs> it's just Ignazola. Alright, cool. Get the bonus gold. Alright. There's still a chance for it to be different. Let's let's see what, what the abilities are. Maybe like game changers. Oh I got a power up here. Wait, didn't I get a power for the first enemy? Or did I did I just click that instinctively and just didn't look at it? Skill issue. I guess that spies and scouts are bad. Is the building next to the Archer and in Barrack? Oh yeah, that's right! There's Legionnaires coming out of that. Wasn't that the name of them? Yeah. Alright, cool. And we've got Legion Archers. So that's just a portable one of the uh, barracks here. Okay, Soul Tickle. It's time for the Tickle. Okay, okay. This Kingdom Rush Frontiers clearly, clearly, well, the more the better because Frontiers was absent in the base game. Oh yeah, and this has been, uh, the price of this has been nerfed. But I think they went a little bit overboard with this one for some reason. Like it was a little bit too expensive for what it did, but it's still a, like a really good ability. Wait, am I, am I actually gonna lose? I've been talking way too much, bro. Alright. So, what it looks like here is we, we need AoE and this uh, Sandworm Hollow is kinda, is kinda ass, not gonna lie. So, I think we're gonna pick another Artillery Tower. 
I ain't even gonna lie, it's kinda ass. Buffed. Should we try the buffed rocket riders? I mean, it's been buffed, but I, I highly doubt it's it's gonna be any good anyway. All right, we're gonna use the the fan favorite, the Goblin Rings. Actually, I think I want the Deep Devil's Reef because um, I wanna get a good choke point up, so I get two for one with this. Very cool. Um, and then. Um, Where's the goblin ranks? There, there we are. And I don't want the dark knights. I don't know about these Shaolin monks though. I, I guess we're gonna, sh we're gonna try this. Yeah, I gotta use the sandworm. You're right. Oh, they actually have the D-Day ships. I saw like a, a comment about that. Bro wasn't lying. Like, well, let me actually check something. Okay, now they attack him. Okay, okay. Just wanted to clear that up. Okay, let's use the um, Sandworm Hollow. I guess it, it looks kind of cool. But that's like um, as far as it goes for me right now. I just try and upgrade it. I am the bringer of death. <clears throat> Same more hollow, don't let me down. But yeah, I definitely think they should have uh, you know made it an option for you to get the hero and the tower. You know, get like a bundle, so you get like a discount on them, or you can buy them separate. So the it like it isn't as expensive on on the phone because you're kind of already getting skinned alive by having to buy uh, heroes and towers on a game which isn't even that fun. Okay, let's check the abilities. The sandworm takes a little time off to go for a snack, eating and killing everything in the area. Wait, so they actually just gonna do it how they did it in Frontiers? Everything? Dude, this is gonna be broken. Wait, hang on, the sandworm hollow is actually good. A dune terror. Ooh. Remember the dune terror? Guys, remember? Wait, this guy didn't got... Oh my god, his range is kind of long though. His range is kind of long though. And he spawns mummies for some reason. I think uh, I didn't even read his passive. Okay, so the Sandborn Hollow is kind of putting in work now. Great to see. So. This is just like a, a tower you have to invest a lot in, it would seem. You are I am the bringer of death. Alright. What, what's this uh, sperm one? Every 14 seconds the same one spits a ball of mucus and creates a sticky area for 15 se uh, seconds slowing enemies. <laughs> Wait a <it's> second. <laughs> slowing enemies. It's just the Ignis Alter. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> Dude. Couldn't you? Oh, it's like it's literally just the Ignis Alter. It's the Ignis Alter with an AoE into kill, so I guess it's just a better Ignis Alter. Like it's surely, it's it's probably gonna be a misleading description, and it's gonna say it's eating everything in its path, and then enemies above like uh, two thousand HP are just gonna take like some damage instead. Love those misleading descriptions. Dude. 
Dude, like, this is so lame, because I'm starting the hero, like, new hero. Okay, I'm gonna use the new hero, but I literally can't, because these stages are more difficult, and I have a hero that's at level 6. So stupid, man. Let's upgrade him, and let's try again. Okay, I, I've, I've, I've actually had enough of these, like, bullshit wacky towers, man. Gonna use the godly ranks, and I'm gonna use... Probably mausoleum. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Give me fuel. Actually, give me this. Give me this and what else? And then I get, get yeah, give me this. Oh yeah, the goblin ranks has also been buffed. The bigger rank has been buffed, but not enough to make it worth to buy. So, um, but that's just me, uh, like looking at the numbers. Okay. This is probably very stupid because. I have to wait until I can get the uh, gargoyles before I have any blocker seen. I don't think this one's gonna work, guys. Oh wait, I think this is the first time I've ever seen him use this ability. Okay, I guess we gotta bank on the mucus. Get the mucus! Wait, so he spawns more mies, that's kinda cool. Kinda chill. Let's not uh, rush to any conclusions with this hero, because he's uh, at level 6 right now. But his hero spell is so st stupid. Like, what is that? What a dog shit ability! It blasts like three times and then goes away. Barely does anything. Like, are you serious? <laughs> like, I don't feel comfortable with this because I got the soul tickle and I got the... The, um... The little wind... Storm. Like, both abilities are trash! Okay, Mucus. Well, oh, there's actually some good range on that. Alright, let's let's see if the Cloud uh, can help me here. Not at all. Not at all. Granted, I did use it kind of poorly there because I thought it would, like, you know, target enemies. Okay, but seriously, I'm stuck on the first three waves. Jesus Christ, man, Isfet, you're not cutting it. I'm not using him. I am- I'm not using him. <laughs> He's so bad, man. <laughs> He's so fucking awful. Okay. I don't care, I'm busting out the harassers. I think this is balanced around the, uh... This mini campaign is probably gonna be balanced around the, uh, OP towers. I'm- um, I'm kind of figuring. All right. No modest, no modest. Okay, we're gonna get the hollow. Still gonna bank on the hollow. It will hollow at me. We're gonna make him hollow at the end of the show.
Alright, but so far I've gotten what I wanted. I've actually gotten a respectable difficulty here. I didn't realize I have to actually try. All right, I'm all I'm all for it. What's actually going on down here? Oh. Oh. That makes some armor, boys. Can I sell them and get gold? Something cool? Just an achievement. I was hoping for like a beanstalk kind of secret here. Okay, instead of letting these guys walk all over me, I'm gonna take them out. Man, these guys are fucking tanky, man. I'm, I'm like thinking of them as like fodder enemies, but they're actually like have almost 400 health. Jesus Christ. Wait, what is this? Okay, so, so this is not like a, a one-time purchase? Oh, or is it? Wait, what? Oh, I can take out the towers. Oh. Well, I don't, I don't want to do that. At, le at least not right now. I'm just like hanging out down here, you know. No need. Camel rider. Camel toe. Is it there gonna spawn a legionnaire? Or oh, are they? I can't see anything. Okay, we got the, the mucus. Upgrade the mucus. Are they actually spawning a legionnaire? I don't think they are. Oh, they are. Okay. Good to know. Okay, guys, we made a past wave four. I kind of want to buy this to see what it does. See if it actually insta-kills everything. I mean, it's, it's gonna have a long wind-up, I'm expecting. Just like in Frontiers. So it's harder to abuse, but still. You can just like, set up a choke point and nobody goes anywhere. So... If it's really gonna kill everything, I think that's gonna be kinda, kinda busted. No new enemies? Okay, send them in. Alright, so we're chilling. Alright, let's buy this. Just splash these guys. Soul Tickle is not good for anything. They couldn't even kill those guys. 189 HP. And the Soul Tickle could barely even finish them all. Man, they really need to do something about the Soul Tickle. But I guess it would be kind of hard because the entire game is balanced around that. But Just buff everything and make the Soul Tickle stronger. Easy fix. Holy shit, there's a lot of these Legionnaires. Jesus Christ, where did all those guys come from?
Jesus Christ! Oh, we did the thing. Did you see the thing? Did it eat everything? Okay, but Jesus Christ, this is... This is difficult, man. These legionnaires have like 400 health, man. Alright, I'm kind of behind the chair. Post KR1 hero leveling system ill. Thank you. Thank you. You said everything. Let me actually pin that. Uh, there you go. I saw they buffed the melting furnace mill upgrade. What else did they do? Uh, they nerfed the um, blazing gems damage output by like 10%. Not a whole lot. Then they they buffed the... They did a quite a few buffs to the rocket riders, but it's not enough. I think they gave them more damage. They didn't give them more AoE, which is strange. Like, they should have given them more AoE. And then they buffed the mines ability, like reduced the cost by like... 25% like it's just guys it's a dumbass ability anyway I wouldn't even use it if it cost like 10 <laughs> I'm not using the other power man I'm sick of that hero he ain't he ain't, he ain't it like I'm not gonna sit here and leveling level him up before I actually go into play and play the stage, like just give me, give him to me at level ten. Like the this new hero hero leveling system is pointless anyway. It's just fucking annoying. When you're playing for a fresh save and want to keep retrying a stage at the same difficulty, you can't because your hero keeps getting stronger. It's so annoying. Kingdom Rush One, not a problem. And it's so much more engage engaging to play the early game because there's this extra factor you gotta think about, like how to maximize your hero's XP gain, instead of just having it reserved to just sitting there and playing the same stage over and over again and, and grinding. Like, why? Is new hero good, bad, or medium? Uh, medium, I guess? I've used him for like five minutes, and he's only at level six. But his hero's hero spell is not, it's not good. It's not good. You can bombard the road runner. Don't spoil it, dude. Okay, well, Shuro. Let me click. Why can't I click on the thing? Hello. Ironhide. I think this is why I didn't uh, see this before now because uh, I can't click on it at the beginning of the stage. But why is it like highlighted? My army of darkness. Okay. We got a Let's go. So DLC is going to be worth the buy. Give me some time. I'm playing the first stage here. So far, um, overall, I would say it's pretty. My um, my view on it is pretty positive. It's it's difficult. It's not that uh, weak ass vengeance type shit. Get the razzles. The the and I don't think it's worth it to spend 200 gold on getting rid of that guy. Join my I highly doubt it. I can fire now. Oh, you're right. I can. 
Why do I gotta wait that long? Not gonna waste 200 gold on getting an achievement. <laughs> Not right now. Join my army of Maybe it's actually worth it to get rid of him. Alright, let's try and do it. Let's try it. First, I gotta get the Tardo. Give me the town. Oh yeah, and Demon God uh, has been buffed. Very cool. Maybe I should actually try to uh, buff Demon Guards. I completely forgot they have been uh, hot fixed, I guess. The uptime has been uh, has been buffed. Swift as a coursing river, too slow. Give me fuel. I love the smell of rods, bow and blade. Get the goddamn seven. Join my army of darkness. Um Oh we still gotta deal with these guys? Oh my god. Okay, so is this actually gonna do anything? Oh I get a, a tower spot. Cool. Swift as a coursing rejoin my army of darkness. Okay, I guess we're just pulling back now. I love the smell of rocks. Bow and blade. Okay, get the trimmer. Swift as a course. Upgrade these guys because we need to stall. Getting through, just just barely. I know the sapper. The sapper just got violated, man. All right, so getting rid of that tower actually helped a whole lot. You're right. You're right. Too slow is but the beginning. Oh, I actually got a good soul tick there. Too bad I used it on the support enemies. Swift as a coursing river. Too slow. Hear the whispers. Chuck the rain. Take uh take them out. Thank you. Move back. Alright, so now that the zombie is actually alive and not getting killed right away, we can just let the, uh, the Razzas rip here. There. Oh, we gotta upgrade him. There we go. Now they have 140 DPS. Unless they have been nerfed. I think this is lower than usual. Have they been nerfed? I'm pretty sure they wasn't. 
I don't remember the damage being so low. Falls on the new tower, it's it's literally just Ignis Older. <laughs> With an AoE insta kill this time. Seems slightly better, but still. What the hell? Very redundant. Oh, so I can. Oh, hang on, I can bomb this tower. I'm about to bomb this whole motherfucking place. And then get rid of all the legionnaires coming. Oh, but do they get bounty? Because if they do, I don't want to get rid of it. Hang on, this guy came out of the barrack. When he dies, did I get bounty? I don't know, let's, let's just take it out. Legion Archer, holy... Uh, guacamole, as Pollux probably would say in this situation. I guess we should just get more AoE. Wait. Oh, okay, I bought the Goblin Rings. I guess that's fine. I don't know what I was doing. Completely forgot I had the Goblin Rings. Nice goo. Join my army of darkness. Okay, so the goo has extra range, which is kind of nice, but at the same time, I can see this is going to be a detriment as well. But that's, that's kind of strange, like, it should be like a damaging ability that had like long, long range, not a slowing ability. Well, I guess you can use it to slow down enemies, like, approaching. I don't know, I don't know, I, 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 I'm a little bit, little bit torn on that, like, extra range. Are there gonna be any enemies with armor here? Oh, he's right there. Speaking of the devil, spawns a desert eagle. Really? Melee attack. Train from a young age to be a dread, dreadful duo. Falconers and their eagles can disrupt enemy lines with ease at short or long range. I love the smell of Hear the whispers of the Join my army of darkness. Good thing I have magic damage. Oh wait, no, I don't. I love the smell of Oh, but this is gonna be a problem. Join well, not really, we have to harass us. Um, them all. Okay, get rid of this. I don't want this. I don't want this shit. Okay, they suck. Let's get this. Join my army of oh, juicy soul tickle. Oh, I knew it was gonna be a good one. I think it's worth it to get Aerostone right here, because there's not enemies with high enough HP to really warrant that, I think. Let's, let's try and get the Doom Terror thing. See what the Doom Terror... Oh, insta-kill. Oh, that, that happened like instantaneous. Alright, it's kind of cool that the entire town just like, or the entire worm just like goes on the ground. It, it looks good, at least.
What I really think for like visual, it, it wouldn't really make the tower any different. Well, it would because it, it wouldn't deal damage over time. But just have the base attack be that, just like without the insta kill, of course. I think that would be way cooler. Oh, hasn't the fear of the Twilight been changed so that they don't? I th no, no, I, d I didn't see any harassers in in the patch notes. I don't know if I saw the entire thing. I just saw like a screenshot that Vaduk sent me. But yeah, by the way, to all you guys laughing at me for using the uh, goblin rings, I just want to say you're all fucking wrong about the goblin rings. They are actually a mid tier tower. They are not the worst tower, not by a long shot. I was completely wrong. I was not in the loop on that like live stream with it uh, with the boys. It's not in the loop at all. If you actually played through the tower strength. Um, it's actually really good. It's way better than most of the artillery towers, like Godly Wall, Goblin Wall, Zeppelin beats it, of course. But it's it's way way better because it like goes in a line stuff. There's like weak ass small AOE you get with the artillery towers. Disability is pretty damn good. Uh, stun is nice. This is an absolute waste to buy. Uh, it was before because. That would actually lower the tower's DPS. Now I think it just about evens out, so it's still not worth to get at all. Now, now it just wastes your gold before it actually made your tower worse. I can't remember what they buffed it to. They didn't even change the numbers. It seems like the same. And it's 45 to 90. If they changed the numbers, but I don't think they updated the description because this is the same as before. Like it, it deals less than double the attack damage, and it, the attack takes much longer to perform, so it's not worth it at all. But it's been changed, so it's slightly more worth it now. Or maybe they actually buffed the uh, animation, or like made the animation quicker, I think. And then buffed the damage, because it seems kind of quicker than, than the usual. I can't remember what they changed. Let's get a response to it. I guess this is because I don't know at this point. And I guess this bomb this whole more fucking plane. Use this because why not? Oh! Soul tickle? It was a good one, but still not enough to deal with these guys because they have so much HP. Okay, fair enough. Call the wave. Let's wait 15. God damn. More goblin wings. But yeah, this is not playing to the Goblin Ring strings, by the way. You gotta support them with the Barrack. Babysit them a little bit. And they're gonna be good. I'm telling you. Oh, next bike. I love this. 
Cool. Always love a little lag spike. I thought there was gonna be a new enemy approaching, but it was just like two enemies stacked on top of each other. So, um, that was awkward. Dodge challenge. So that's the first level. Pretty solid start, you know? Pretty solid, not too shabby. I have 61 viewers. Okay. Didn't expect that. Bigger ranks is still a negative upgrade. Yeah, I thought so. The people with trash copper ranks just don't know how to use them probably. Yup, me included. Uh, about like two months ago. It's still not a like still not a good tower. Well, I mean for vintage standards is it's actually a good tower. But it's still like a mid uh, tier tower. Like I like help for Duke. Like this was before the balance changes because this completely changes everything. But yeah, I was I played like a lot of vengeance recently, trying to like um, you know get some in-game experience with all the towers, refresh on all of them, try to rank them, and I made like a draft for my ranking of all the towers and the couple ranks is like put I think at number ten out of twenty. I think I ranked them there last time I checked. So, middle of the road. I'd say it's better, say it's slightly better, I don't know. It's kind of hard. Kind of like in the same tier as, um, as Shadow Archers, maybe slightly better. So, you, you excited to see Daddy, Daddy Malik again? Oh yeah, I'm excited to see those milkers, baby. Is there anywhere you can find the balance changes? Well, I saw actually before I streamed this, I saw a video pop up um, from Functional Function, I believe it was, where he showed off all the balance changes. So you can check that one out. I know, did, did Ironhide not include like a change lock on, on Steam? Let me actually check that. And they didn't even mention it in the post. Serious? Why not, man? That's like the big selling point. Ironhide balancing. Ah. MM Lates pinned a changelog on the Ironhide Discord table. Oh, cool. I'm gonna check that afterwards. Rocket Rats are still the worst tower throughout KMO, even after the very minimal buffs they got. Yeah, I, I I just saw it and I was like, yeah, that's I, like I don't even need to try. That's just not gonna be enough for the godly, uh, uh, the fucking Rocket Riders. <laughs> you can give them more damage, but the, the AOE is still so piss small, and the mines is useless already, even despite the cost. The mines is like not good like the damage is not good and it's not even guaranteed damage because you gotta wait for the enemies to actually step over the mines so if they are in the wrong sub lane they're not gonna be hit um yeah for 755 gold no thank you and then they reduced it by 25 percent i think it was i think it, maybe it was 50 percent, but still the ability is not good like you gotta rework the whole thing or just increase the AOE to all sub lanes for the mines, buff the damage a little bit, and then 25% reduction. There you go, that might be a decent ability. Rocket Rod is still trash, not as trash as the Deadwood. No, if you mean Weirdwood. No, 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 no. Rocket Rod is the worst tower in the entire fucking franchise. I firmly believe that, at least before the balance changes. I haven't tried it now. So maybe maybe now it goes slightly above Rotten Forest or, or, or Orc Shaman. Who knows? 
Oh, I actually just had 70 viewers. God damn, that's a new record since I've returned. My all-time record is 80-something. Ice Cold got nerfed so bad. Cool, man. Nerf him to the ground. Seventy viewers. This is the perfect opportunity to go and take a piss. Should we? Should we bother with these? Ooh. Should we? Okay, hang on. I'm actually gonna go take a piss. Uh, you guys, you can decide in the meantime. Should we do the Iron Hand Heroic right away, or should we just like go into the next stage? I'll, I'll look at the chat while 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 I'm pissing or relieving myself. Excuse me. Alright, so the overwhelming majority, well not the overwhelming majority, because no one said do the Iron Heroic. But guys, I gotta collect stars! Oh, never mind! Vengeance L. Um, Save Oasis. Oh, but still has a higher difficulty. Can't wait for the final stage where it just said, this campaign stage has a lower difficulty. Evil Ironhide. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm gonna bust out the lock for this one. And we're gonna use something different. So we're gonna use the trimmer, of course. Um it's not what it's called, it's called a hollow. Hey, holla at me. And and nah. Oh, has the orc shaman been buffed? I can't remember. I think the, I think it was. If they've not addressed the orc shaman, I'm gonna be sad. So if if anybody has the balance changes at hand, uh, has the orc shaman been buffed? Because if it has, I'm gonna use it. But we're for sure gonna we gotta try these guys. We're gonna try him. I think I'm gonna get wrecked. <laughs> when I use that. Oh, 
Nah, nah, guys, you don't understand. The Mirage uh, Rule 34 art is the only non-sexual art on Rule 34 for some reason. It's just a more. It's just like a Mirage, uh, fully clothed, and she just has a bigger uh, ass and and some bigger boobs, and that's it. Just buffed Mirage, fully clothed. Law accurate Mirage. That's my kind of Mirage right there. Oh yeah, the damage variance has been reduced a bit. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna use the shaman then. We're gonna bust out the shaman. And then because it's kind of redundant to use the trimmer when I have this. So, um, let's do something different. Bone Flingers was unchanged, at least from the changes I saw. So uh, that's kind of laughable. Um, Like, why was the new town not a barracks? I feel like there's no barracks in Vengeance. So this one, and this one, and this one, and well, I guess this kind of counts as a barrack, and this too, but not quite. And where's, where's the Grim Cemetery? What's right up there? They all have been changed. Let's use the Grim Cemetery. Join us. And we're gonna use this because we have to have some reliable AOE. Oh, it's Mirage! Oh, sick. We'll be buried under these sands. Okay. Cool. It's got some tents here. That's literally me at 5 a.m. I don't know why I was going with that. I I'm just saying random shit at this point. She said the thing, did she? I, I did completely went over my head. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we got here. Alright, let's see what we got. Um, this is wacky. Perfect Ox Shaman spot right here. Wait, did I go with the trimmer? That's not what it's called. Okay, I guess we're playing with it. Okay. Bad. Bad. <laughs> this, this, is, this is so stupid. And then we can hey, use I can this. Hey, I can see my house. Up to this right away so we can like we skirt it on over here. And... Nature's my weapon. Oh yeah, because they didn't update the actual descriptions. So it's just the same. Lol. Ironhide, you gotta, you gotta have to uh, do that at some point. Oh, I cancelled this, um, this eruption. The log is about to erupt. Camel toe. I should have honestly just nerfed the price of these anyway. Actually, just go into Revengeance and just copy paste, and there you go. 
Just a little tip for you, Ironhide. You don't have to do jack shit, and the people are gonna be happy. Just let let us balance the towers. attack shadow jump okay jump do the jump I want to see what they do oh that was it this is just like oh okay mirage ill well that's like when enemies have abilities where they jump back that's always just a positive for me because then I can just you know stall the enemies like they just do the stalling form just to gauge with them so this basically means these enemies aren't a threat and always just stick around with them okay Olog is getting wrecked out here bro feel the wrath of nature Oh, yes, one with the storm. Furnace is kind of busted now. I highly doubt that. Just because the uh, the um, the buff has been uh, like it's got more range. Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. Buff is barely even worth it anyway. Even with that buff, it's my prediction. Because you have to buy the tower in probably a shitty spot. So the tower is not even going to be that effective, which it already isn't. For a lot of gold, then you got to get the uh, buff to only to buff some towers, which are probably not an optimal spot either. Just way more efficient to get a good artillery and some other good towers. Just don't worry about that. Me and Vodasi mathed it out and it's not worth it. Magic carpet? Okay. I'm not reading about the secrets of the carpet. No way. Is it just, they, they're just gonna fly in here. God damn, man. Black hack type deal. I'm just gonna pull up like the black hacks. I should have really gotten something other than just artillery towers. I'm too lazy to restart. And I was at the beginning as well, so now we just. Oh, these don't even fly, they just attack. Okay. Cool. And this is still trash. That is still trash, and this is still trash. So, um. Orc Salmon. Still an ill. Okay, go away. Oh, he revived instantly. Okay, I seriously need some more range towers. This is this is kind of stupid. Dude, Orc Shaman ain't doing shit. Well, if you can place it on a round bend at choke points and have three damaging towers in range, I call it worth it. It's a nice garbage, yes, but it's busted in a few levels now at least. Now it is. Well, I kind of went through the entire game, like that was before the campaign here, and found all of the optimal furnace, uh, furnace blast spots. There's two 
placements in the entire game where you can place it down and have it buff 4 towers and also be on a bend. Only 2. And then there's 6 more uh, on a bend where it can buff 3. And 3 of those spots are at Kazan Ma- or was it? No, it's 2 of those spots are at uh, Kazan Mines where you can't even get the gold. So it's pretty much narrowed down to only 6 optimal spots. And two of those you can buff four towers. But now it's been, uh, the range has been buffed, so maybe that's all of them can buff four now. But even then, a lot of the spots are not good at all. Because you can only buff towers in like the worst possible spots. And the Bro only has shaman's fine so yeah, yeah, it's not optimal, not, not, not optimal. Alright, we're not using the orc shaman, it's it's too, it's, it's like, I'm just gonna get blasted, man. <laughs> it's stupid. Still a handicap to have. And how do you need to redo all these balance changes? It's just not enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually want to use goblin ranks. Actually, kind of want uh, the goblin ranks. And and and. Like, I feel like with mage towers, it's so wacky, like, either I can use uh, the, the stupid good towers, or I can use the terrible towers here. Oh, no, these two are the terrible ones, and these are kind of mid. I think Wicked Sisters are kind of good, but they're so, uh, it's just not a good all-around tower to use, because you have to, you know, micro them around so much. But... Hey, actually, let's try the uh, buff demon guards. Maybe it's not the best for this type of stage, but I'm gonna do it. Gonna try. It. See what we have. Why does it, why is it why is vengeance so unresponsive? I feel like I'm clicking this. I have to click everything like twice. It's like if you don't click right in the middle of it, like th there's some goddamn input delay on it or something. It feels so off. Like, I can't click the things as fast as I can in the other games. God, man. Vengeance sucks. Anyway, I'm gonna play some Vengeance now. Now that I mentioned, the only tower that gives a lot of value in ship in shit spots is Wicked Sisters and Wicked Sisters suck so yeah not really I don't I don't think that Wicked Sisters suck they're kind of like middle of the rope to you they're actually pretty good in most of the stages the um, the uh, insta kill is on a really short cooldown now, granted, um, insta-kills aren't as useful in Vengeance, but the fact that it's on such a short cooldown makes it kind of worth it to get a few Wicked Sisters with the insta-kill, and the insta-kill is also cheap as hell, because the, uh, like the enemies that have, uh, like, the tanky enemies are kind of spammed, but because the cooldown is so short, it's actually kind of worth it to get that. And the fact that you can micro them around, just give so much value in vengeance because the tower spots are so far apart, so difficult to form a choke point. Attack, the basic attack is just not that great though, but it's not the worst either. Blazing Gym was nerfed, it's now stupid bad. I highly doubt that is 
Its damage has been reduced by 10%. I highly doubt it's stupid bad. It's still gonna be very much in the other tier of towers. Is my predictions. Alright, let's um I know we, we need magic. Ah whatever, let's so use the wicked sisters. Whatever. And then we have the trimmer. I don't know what to pick in the in the last tower spot. I never know. I feel like I only need four towers. King Runner's one. God damn, it's just ingrained in my brain. We're not gonna do that, no. Okay. I hate vengeance because I always sit here and browse towers and don't know what to pick because it, it all of them seem it seems redundant. That's why I, it's like I don't know what to pick for the fifth tower because. So many of the towers overlap, so it just feels kind of arbitrary sitting here, picking towers. So, we're just gonna go with this setup. I don't care. Okay. They have to challenge the Frontiers. Oh, that was the thing she said. She, she mentioned Frontiers. Oh my god, she said it. I thought she just called back to one of her lines in the, um, in the game, but... She just did the yeah, cheapest yeah. thing imaginable. Oh, okay. Okay, chill out. Okay. Oh, it's so stupid that they start with the poison attack. Like you always want the magic damage oh, as the base one. Damn, I'm too hot. Okay, have, have they fixed the bug though? Let's, actually, let's check that. Oh, we can't check that because I don't have Hellion Trident, so I forgot. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna check anything. Why does she target those guys? I mean, it's kind of convenient right now, but why the hell does she do that? See, I had two demon gods at the same time. Holy moly. Can it be true? Oh yeah, they forgot to update the stats. I think they gave them some more um, some more health. No, I think it was damage they actually gave them. And then uptime. Been changed from like 12 seconds to 18, I think. Can't remember. I'll just teleport them out of the eruption. I also think they buffed the explosion, like the, the death, um, infernal combustion, that's what it's called. The Wicked Sisters buck was fixed apparently. Cool. Cool. Cool see, so now they're actually more viable also when that buck has been fixed. So you can actually use that poison attack. Because it's kind of useful to switch to it. If there's only like magic resistant enemies, because then the like the poison is not that good, but at least the wicked sisters are doing something at least. But then when you've got the Hillian Tridents, that plan like you can't even do that with them. So that's uh, like severely handicapped them. Okay, pull pull back. Yeah, look at the Grim Cemetery. 
Like the, the zombies, they walk so slowly, right? And the um, and the the like aggro range is so huge. So every time they intercept an enemy, they like stall them for like one to two seconds extra. Kind of, that's kind of like an overlook. Like, look, this guy's just standing there for whatever, how long, man. I think that's kind of overlooked with the Grim Cemetery and overlook quality of them, if I may. Okay, these falcons are annoying. Yeah, I can see my house. Yeah, I forgot. I'm I'm not supposed to be moving my hero. So Mirage can blow horn. Apparently. She does that now. Damn. Magic Carpus have got nothing on the Goblin Reigns. They are busting right now. Look at how they bust. They trip all over the place, man. Test the cards, please. Please go home. Thank you. If that falcon would have went through, oh, I was not restarting. Simple as. That's not my fault. If the test the cards don't go off, maybe the test the cards has been fixed as well. Who knows? Ready to turn. Olaf died again. Use the salty. Just for good measure. Get this, I guess. To buff one tower. Hella worth it. What an absolute bargain. Okay. She blow the horn. Oh wait. Okay. I thought she was just gonna come out now. She's like, Jesus Christ, I'm wave seven. Cut me some goddamn slag over here. Oh, the falcons are so annoying. I didn't read what she said. Oh, genie! Polymorph enemies, units, and towers? Wait, what? Polymorph enemy units? 
and towers. Wait, what? So they polymorph their own units? Why? <laughs> what? Oh, you can't click them? Okay. Jesus Christ. Wait. Polymorph enemy units. They polymorph my own... The... My units. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you say, Ironhide. Just... Just call them units. Jesus Christ, dude. Genius. Goddamn busted. Oh, he's over here now. Wait, 1800 HP. Okay. 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 Enemies are faster, so his teleport is not that great. I, th I think it's worked pretty good so far. I've gotten out of quite a few hairy situations so far. Can you can kill the Falcon? Thank you. Why have I not, have I not bought the Sapper yet? Just pull in the pull the cup. Get the turn of silence. So good, bro. Get more siblings. I don't want to build up here. I feel comfy back here, but I feel like I should I should be buying the tremor. So I'll do it now. Why do I keep calling it the tremor? It's it's the hollow. Yeah, I swear to God, Grim Cemetery might just be, might just be decent. I just had this at tier one, and it's all the stall I, I ever needed. I also have Olak, but like, it's like, these are pretty good level one units for seventy gold. But then they get they spawn up here, and then it's kind of yes. Jesus Christ, can you chill with all the Falcons? Okay, it's Mirage again. Okay, watch your back. I guess there's some enemies that are gonna come out here. Oh, up here. Oh no. Oh no!
that was like I was trying to reference um, that clip with the guy who was like, ah! and he's like, oh no! But I don't sound like him at all. I can't. <laughs> I can't possibly sound like him. Watch your back. Or something. Wait, I've never seen them do that before. Is that just a base attack? Okay. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm playing the so called tower defense games. I don't know what it's really about. back and heal just just a little bit why did you not target that guy excuse me It's time, it's time to holler at them. I, I always just, I always cancel that ability. Actually insane. He never gets to use it. Oh, there's a zombie spawning over here. Okay. Okay. This is some chaos mode type shit. And chaos mode has like you you can't possibly surprise me with enemy spawning uh, somewhere after chaos mode. I, I I've seen it all. Let's finally upgrade that tower. the real organ you see him I really want to read the chat like because I feel like there's not I can like just casually read it but I really don't want to lose this right now to be completely honest with you so I think I'm just gonna refrain from that and I don't want to pause the game what do you think this is in the Duke stream? Man, I'm craving some Shadow Watcher right now. Should we pick a Shadow Watcher instead of this the goo cannon? The mucus. Oh 
Luke is older. <laughs> I move him every single time he has that ability on. How is that possible? Okay, but we already saw Mirage has uh, 10,000 HP. I think I can manage that. Maybe she's gonna be difficult. I hope so. I hope, I hope I'm gonna lose to her. And just be dumbfounded. You're not the first arrogant mage we fight. Okay. Who, who asked? Alright. Wait, she's all covered up and shit. Shit, man. Okay. That was not a good idea. Oh, hold on. I thought for a second you couldn't damage her because, but then I remembered. Oh yeah, it's because we have to help our RP here. Because RPG. Hey yo, those RPG games are kind of popular though. Let's add a health bar up here. Oh yeah, I just cancelled every single one of his abilities. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Get the exploded corpses. Best ability in the goddamn game, you Alright, she's fucking finished now. It's completely isolated. Wait, what? Why did she look like a demon when she died? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's what you say when you just got defeated, man. You just fucking died. Oh no. It's not really a OH NO! It's just oh no. Alright. So that was cool. That was actually a fun state though. But... Man... The next few stages I'm really gonna have to step it up with some more enemies. Because I'm kinda starving at this point. I've been like... I've, I've fight, I'm, wait, there was also the nomads in this one. But I feel like I'm just fighting the uh, same six enemies again and again, because I am. <laughs> Wait, why, why did I... Um, hang on. Let me check the chat. My wife would know. Why did it make a miracle smaller? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they were actually smaller. I think they were just 
Like, the real question is, why didn't they make them bigger? Ironhide, listen to me. I know what sells. Like, look at me. I have a successful... Uh, pretty pretty successful stream going on here um, by the viewer count um, for Kingdom Rush standards. Look what I have in the thumbnail. Fucking Man Milkers and Sarah Snyder. There you go. And also Vodasi, he also helps a little bit. I want her to walk all over me. I never said that, except now. Spreading misinformation again, are you? What's your favorite hero in KRB? Uh, completely oblivious. <laughs> None of them. They all suck because you can't micro them. Why did you retract that message, Peter? My guy is the secret agent of blooms. That's something to be ashamed about. Is that actually not um, something we can pin here? We need a new pin. Somebody say anything down bad? Balls of pure diamond, thank you. Should making a choke point always be the main objective in a level? Because a lot of the times I try to make one, it becomes too big and all the enemies breaks loose. Not really necessarily all the time, it depends a little bit on the wave compositions, how like, grouped up the enemies are. How many chunks of enemies are there? And I guess the level, uh, level way up the level uh, layout. But I guess it's always just like the standard approach. Um, it takes a little bit of finesse to make it hold. Some micro and some good ability usage, I guess. I think I scrolled up through all of it. Hang on, wait, wait, I'm gonna pin this one. Why did it make him bulk us smaller? Okay! Are you guys ready for some iron gaming? Gonna pick my load out for the iron challenge. Um, <laughs> can we get a little sneak peek or is the Shatra level? It's the Shatra level. How long have I actually been streaming? Maybe I should save some for tomorrow. Well, not that long. Is fit more like is fat? Damn right, man. He sucks. Uh, wait, we should actually go back to him. Yeah. Give him a second chance. We, we gotta level him up. Maybe I'm gonna do some iron and heroic just to level him up. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? yeah? Let's do that. What the hell? Oh, you can buy this for oh, free? For real? Oh, you can only get rid of three. Ooh. 
Hey, this is gimmicky. Ooh, I like it. Oh, and there's like some of the tower spots are removed. Ooh, they actually put effort into these. Okay, thank God I actually went for this. Okay, so obviously, I shouldn't go anywhere near the archers. Uh, maybe I should take out these two, but then like I only got one tower spot to work with. Mm. Now I think the obvious choice would just be to get rid of the barracks. Let's see what that what that do what to do what to do. Or they gave me the harassers. Rookie mistake. Swift as a coursing river. Slow. Rookie mistake. All right, it's fat. He, he is actually kind of fat though. Look how chunky he is. Okay. Move your slow ass over here and do something. Let the bees out of the bag. Swift as a coursing river. Like now he seems kinda good. But he isn't. It's just the harassers deleting everything. Look at that DPS man. Swift as a coursing river. Too slow. Plagues and misfortunes. I am the bringer of death. Nothing but incest. Nothing but incest. It does, that doesn't actually. Oh, it's just the uh, take more damage ability. Oh, yeah, kind of forgot what it does. <laughs> what was that goofy ass animation when he leveled up? Nah, dude. Why did Isfat uh, get ex like special treatment? Hello? Okay, but it's actually so goddamn fire that the uh, demon legends are uh, the what are they called? Demon guards actually are like usable now. Okay, but it's bad he always uses this ability at the worst spot, like he has extra range with it. Why though? I don't know, I'd stop giving the good abilities extra range, like the one you want to use at cu crucial moments. Why do you always have to give them extra range? Like why? Seriously, it's so stupid. Like they must be doing it to just, you know, annoy us so you don't have control over it. Like just stop taking away, taking away all the pl player control, please. Like at least give me some control over the hero's abilities in dungeons, where my soul tickle is it's dog shit, and control by RNG if it's gonna actually gonna do anything. You know, would be would be the least bit I could ask for. Swift yeah. as a coursing river. This feels like a revengeance level. Yeah, they 
God damn, I don't know. They they took some notes from Revenge. So they go. But that would actually just be the best thing they could ever do, in my opinion. That was that was a fun one. Could have been more difficult though. But the ideas were there. It was fun. I liked it. Burning or freezing. So it's RNG. Okay, let's see about that. Mm. Oh no, I forgot. We gotta pick the towers. And I don't wanna use the same ones over, over and over again. Um, I'm gonna do something. Uh, be real. Real wacky. Real wack. Um. Ignis Alder, let's compare, time to compare, and this one, and th that's fine, uh, and uh, Swamp Thing. Yeah, that's what I've been saying, man. He's fat. He's fat, man. Is this veteran? It's impossible mode. Well, is it though? I don't imagine it should be anything else. No. Just <laughs> like, what do you think I am? Do you think I'm, I'm playing a veteran? Nah. Well, basically, impossible mode in Vengeance is is veteran compared to the other games. Like impossible mode is so mild and it's not dynamic dynamic at all. It's just like. A little bit of extra HP, like 10% more. Like, come on. I can handle it. Give me 25% more HP. More resistances. More attack damage. Something. Something wacky. Mirage greater than Goth Mirage. Astra. Alright, that's a pin. Have you seen the violet eyes? Um, is that a is that a movie? Is that a what, what? What are we talking about? Okay, Ignis Older. I don't remember picking this one, but but I guess I have it. Another day, another egg. What is this, man? I never heard them speak. Oh, the cannon is gone. And all the towers are also gone. Okay. Okay. Let's start a fire. Oh, these guys are annoying. This is fine. Why did they really reference burn, burn, burn. that? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I don't know. I cannot hear him saying incest now that I said it like once.
Oh, that was the thing I clicked up on here. Okay. Oh, and then we're gonna use the affliction. Well, then we're probably gonna should should buy this if we're gonna do that. Well, it doesn't matter because this is like the falconers. That's all the enemies with armor. So uh, yeah, no mind. Let, let's just do this instead. Do the swamp. The swamp man, the Florida man. Fed level up, man. Level up. Wait, what I should have done with him? I should have just gone into the code and given me, <laughs> given myself XP. I like, got down. I'll do that after the stage. Like, I don't care. I'm not leveling him up. When I lose, I'm gonna give myself uh, some XP in a minute. Get the stun shots. Take Ignis Holler is better than the than the Holler. Mac element. Oh no, burning in a mental because we always gotta reference the game and then not do it, it do, do it anyway and just give it another name because why not? It's a licensing I issue. We lost the rights to our own game, man. Sort of for some chunk change, you know? Tough times at the company. I feel like Ignis Ola shouldn't stack. If you put lava on the ground and then add more lava, it would be any stronger. 
if you put lava on the ground and then add more lava, it wouldn't be any stronger than before. Well, that's true, but um, Ignis all I gotta do something to compete with the Zeppelin. Teleport back to your place, which is six nodes that way. That. Oh, that was that ability I bought. And it uses that melee range? Huh? The healing ability, the best um, ability on the orcs, by the way. Oh fuck. No, I wasted the soul tickle. Oh no. I thought the uh, the falcons was just gonna rush to the exit, but I've got the actual little latch onto enemies like goddamn parasites. Reflection. Okay, we won anyway. Okay, thank god. I mean, we wasted the soul tickle, it's not really a big deal. But it's like, that was Kingdom Hearts 1. Man, instant death. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna go in and skip over one level with Isfit. Damn right, hell worth it, man. Chocolate rain. <laughs> Any other balance changes besides Ignis Older? Yeah, a load of them. You can check them out on the Ironhide Discord server. It memorates pinned a comment with them. I don't know why they didn't include patch notes in the Steam update. Like the like on Steam, they sh should have done that. And they should have changed the stats in game as well. But they didn't. Ice Carl can't hit flying enemies now, which sucks. What? That's the strange this is kind of nerve ever. That, that I think that, that must be a bug. Like why would he not be able to hit flying enemies? This seems like kind of such an arbitrary nerve. Like just stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna go into the code and give Isfet some uh, goddamn X XP. God damn. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but who cares? Who cares? Wait. Isn't it um Oh it that's like at app data percent, isn't it? You don't go in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's at app data percent.
because you go into the um, the save files. Uh, where's the thing? Why 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 are these folders here? Oh, where's the thing? Comps. Isn't it in here? Where where's the Steam folder? Steam. Oh no, it's not in here. No mind. It's in roaming. Wait, where the fuck is it? Oh yeah, I forgot the search doesn't work. Yeah, never mind. Where's the thing? Am I overlooking it? Oh, I think maybe, wait, hang on. It, vengeance is always different. So it's probably in here. I've actually never gone into the Kingdom Rush Vengeance files. Uh, let's open this in 7 zip. Wait. Man. Manifest. The Kingdom Rush Manifesto. Shaders. Sounds, localization. Uh, there should be a folder that's just called like save states. Man, fuck this shit. Oh, so they actually made it so you can't go into the files? Well, you can't as some way, somehow, but it's kind of hidden. Because there's the Kingdom Rush 1 here. Yeah, and then you got just got the, like, the slots here, and you can just go in and change it. Man. Man, really? I'm not overlooking it, it's not here. Wait. Gotta be in some other folder. Nah, fuck that shit. I'm not fiddling with that right now. Unable to sync. Sync up. I didn't change anything. You just swore you just saw it. Kingdom of Vengeance. All I saw this was the first three games. It was if it was really there, it should have been right next to them. Kingdom Rush Frontiers Origins. Oh, it's in local. Oh, it's right now. Wait, what? Why is it there? Wait, you can't open them? Are you serious? Are you serious? We gotta decode them. Can't even open. I 
Ah, okay, never mind. All right. It was safe slot one, right? Yeah, it was. Jesus Christ, man. Where's the XP, man? Yo, Verok. Uh, it would be easier to just search for. Is fit? Uh, XP uh, 40,800 What was Virux? Versus XP, wait what? Achievement, blah 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 oh, What the hell man? Where's the XP, man? Anyway, I think that's gonna be plenty of XP. Hopefully. Alright. Hope it's not gonna corrupt my game because I had it open and everything. Wait, I just reverted him back to level eight. <laughs> nah, man. Oh my God. I'm, I swear to God, Burrook had like 48,000 and he's uh, at le like 40,000 and he's at like level 10. So should make sense, but apparently not. Uh, open with notepad. Like, let's go to Veruk. Oh, it's four hundred thousand. Jesus Christ. Um, is fit? Spell right. All right. Now it should work. Well, Jesus Christ, you need a lot of XP from level eight to. You need ten times as much XP from level eight to level ten, apparently. Okay. Unable to sync. Shut the hell up, man! Just play my game. Play it again. I please take a look at the level of the ancient gate. I hope I don't fix the map bug. What map bug? Oh, this is not the ancient gate. This is called the ancient ghosts. Oh, now we gotta sit through the cut thing, man. Oh my god, fuck off. What's the ancient gate? Oh, is it Rise of the Dragon? Oh yeah, it's this one. <laughs> okay, so what's the map bug? Is this DLC worth it so far? So far it's been pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, the hero is kind of meh. Wait. He's still level 8. Now wait, what? <laughs> Look at his HP bar. His XP bar, what the hell? 
Oh my, this, why, why does vengeance always have to be different? God damn it. Okay, we'll go into final time and change this level to level 10. And I just give me my hero on level 10. He's fit. Oh, he was already down. Integrature. 8, 10. Happy now. I'm not cheesing it, I'm just being reasonable. Permanent, or you know, the um, Kingdom Rush 1 leveling system I meant, is the GOAT. Go back to that one. It's, it's, it's superior. Hate the permanent leveling system. It's ass. We just have to make him attack once. Well, I don't care. Making him attack once is too much for me. I want him at level 10 now. Thanks, they fixed the bug. I don't know what the bug was, but you're welcome. Oh, Vodassi is here. Vodass. The man in the thumbnail. It's for dozen time. It kinda is though. I actually thought you were gonna stream this when it came out. But I guess I beat you to it. Maybe you were, maybe you were considering it, but I'm just too goddamn fast. I'm out here getting on the grind. As soon as the update drops, well, as soon as the Steam version drops, that is. All right, but um, should we um? No, let's not bother. We we got Isfet at level ten now, so um. That is, that is the uh, the plane. So we're gonna play the um. Let's let's actually actually just scout it out for a little bit. Just see. Oh, this level looks sick. Well, I meant sick, dude. This is kind of like confusing as hell. Like, what is even going on here? Come out here, then come out here. And how did they? How do they get up here? Oh, so maybe they, wait what, they walk through here? What? This is warping my brain. What, the mummy maker? It's the goddamn mummy maker? Oh, it's just a one time buy. Well. Okay, interesting level design. There's also an entrance at the top lift. Oh, I didn't see that. The ladies called me the mummy maker. No more towers to vengeance, no. We've had enough. Stop making towers. Just give me eight. Just give me a few solid towers. Don't give me 21 goddamn towers, which are all really similar and all balanced to shit. Ironhide, just don't do that. Don't, stop. Stop it. Like again, hollow just overlaps with Ignis Older. Literally, the tower you released before. Just, what's the point? What is the point? Oh, oh, Duke is here. Well, Duke, when O oh, Duke walks in. Anyway, uh, 
Where was we? We were in the middle of picking uh, our towers for the level. Man, this this is like uh, it's so exhausting to play vengeance. I feel like because I it's not exhausting. It's just such a slog because every time you have to play a stage, you want to like pick different towers and you just sit here like looking at all these options. It's just like does it even matter? <laughs> Does it even doesn't even matter? Um we'll use some couple ranks and let's try some dark knights we haven't used them before. Gonna be sick, trust me, gonna stop neglecting these guys. The hollow it can just no, not the hollow. I kinda like the Ignis Holder, we're gonna keep rocking it. Run forest, not even gonna bother. Um we need some magic actually. And that's out of the question. Let's so go with the Wicked Sisters magic? again. Why not? Do you think Ironhide should make a new game or keep working on Vengeance? Just make a new game. Just, it would, it would be too redundant to go over and change the entire game. Might as well just make a new game. And there's also some unfixable problems with the code. So no, just just make a new game. Honestly. Where's the entrance? Oh, it's up here. I see that. Oh, it's the purple eyes. Well, this, there's one of those in every stage, right? Hang on, we gotta go achievement hunting. Hang on, the mission is on hold. Gotta find the the guy in here. He's he's right now. All right, I know all your achievement formulas. You ain't pulling the rug out from under me. All right, two more to go. Wait. Why, why was that like a... Uh, did I not fill out my, my, my upgrades? Oh, whoops. Nothing but insect. Nothing but incest. Okay, so what, what do you even do here? This is overwhelming. That's just the way I like it though. Uh... Let's start a fire. Bad guys. Yeah, okay, I'm thinking something like this. Smash and flick. Find your senses. Expand your senses. Expand your senses. We'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> oh my god, these voice lines are so annoying. All of them, so annoying. <laughs> and they're so loud compared to everything else. Why? I would goddamn rather listen to the Christmas music they play in that work. Actually, no, that's a lie. Fuck no. Twist the bones and bend the back. Like, if you thought, you know, you had a, like, you pro you're probably thinking to yourself, just like me, oh, you know, Christmas music, it sucks, we're just hearing the same fucking songs every year. But. Be thankful you're hearing those Christmas songs that you hear every year because it is far better than some of the some of the songs you haven't heard. Because god damn man. I work at the um, at a store, you know. And they play this like um corporate kind of music, Christmas music in the background. It's just like the shittiest covers imaginable. 
It is so bad. So annoying. And the worst, like, when you're working, it's 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 kind of like alright, because you can kind of like, for the most part, you can just zone out and not pay attention to it. But, get this, the music is playing out in the back as well. So when you're, when you're just sitting out there, you know, and just like taking a break or whatever, the, the music becomes so annoying because you're actually paying attention to it. And it's just like, you don't even want to. Like, I think they, they play it out now, so you don't like just sit out uh, at the back and just do nothing. Because the music is so annoying when you actually like pay pay attention to it. But it's 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 like it's really it's 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 double bad because at least now I don't hear the uh, the other like twenty tracks they used to like blast over and over again. Uh, for the most part, they work a few of those in every once in a while, and it's and one of those tracks that they work in every once in a while is one of my absolute fucking most hated tracks. Oh my god. It's this like really metal dramatic like ukulele goddamn fucking song and it's it's so fucking basic and it the production on it sounds like ass and it's so annoying. Oh my god. That song I I literally can't. I literally can't. I straight up straight up I I will just like stop what I'm doing and just Fucking go outside. I'm not. I'm not listening to that. You can't force me to listen to just garbage music, man. Uh oh. No. -uh. Like who made this playlist? And it's like the same twenty songs over and over again. Like it's 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 got it's got that torture. That's what it is. Fucking hand me the orcs, man. I'll put on some repulsion. It's time to listen to some real music around here. Oh, thank you, Sagarius. And you too, man. They have to play the Frontiers Christmas jingle. Oh. Like, when they aren't playing the Christmas music, it's like all of the tracks are like this um, really fucking just safe and and and, and I, I guess corporate. I don't know. It's it's like it's like music nobody wants to stream. So I think the 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 people who make this music they pay the corporations to actually play it to get some streams. Like that's that's uh, that's literally the deal with this music they play. Swear to God, man. Royalty free. Like it's not even it's not even real music. It's it's literally just the most basic ass fucking it's the productions sound like ass. The sing the or the sing the vocals are always so goddamn annoying, just like these nasally vocals. Oh, I can't stand it, man. Not as bad as Dance, as, uh, dance mon Monkey, but pretty close. What, what What's her name? I can't remember. Something... Tones... Uh, Tony? <laughs> I don't know. I just know that song. Tones and I, yeah, God, that is fucking wretched, man. That's fucking disgusting. That's a disgusting song, and not in a good way because I usually use that as a compliment. Control your provide. Okay, this is this is this is so stupid. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm going for. Dark 
I like I seriously don't know what to what to do. Find your center. I'm not gonna find my center. It's this this map is all off center, man. And bend the back. Bend the back. Let's see what let's see what's coming. What what comes out here? I think Iron Eye could have made a sand wraith towel where someone's fallen and the mold is like necromancer on here. So nice. I was just about to say. Oh, you mean just the necromancer? They should have done that though. Everyone would love it, you know. Highest DPS in the goddamn game right now. <laughs> I, I didn't even see his melee animation. Look at that. Look at that. He's just a goofy guy. Holy shit. The range is goddamn huge. Oh, the witch has the has this like poison attack. Okay. Tesla? I thought they fixed that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not restarting. Like that's not my fault. Should Tesla should have gone off. Nope. Wait, the the falcon died. What the hell? Wait, that was my fault though. But seriously, what the what the ding dang do? Am I even supposed to do here? Sorry, a night coil tower. Okay, that would be kind of sick though. Is there even like a sniper kind of tower in Vengeance? Oh, I guess there's the swamp thing. But yeah, sorry and death coil. Man. That would be a sick idea. Because it it's like the most hated enemy in Frontiers. So of course well I don't know if it's the most hated. It, it's for sure up there. That would be so cool to actually use that that tower. Oh, oh man, that would Ah man, that would be so much better than the hollow man. Why just make a cheap fucking weakness or a knockoff when you can do a Saurian death coil? I took the easy way out on this one. Black searches are worse. Well, I would actually say that the uh, night gales are the most annoying. Oh, but they they only like appear in one stage though. No, two stages. Black searches are in like three stages and they are like pretty common, I feel like. So I can see why they're more annoying. They're not even a bad enemy, <laughs> it's just annoying. Like they're so fucking and I was I don't know the it's such a stupid stage because it's just boils down to the death cause just standing at the entrance sniping your troops as soon as you like walk one feet out of the back with uh, your hero that's a fucking bad enemy man just makes the stage unplayable <laughs> like just feels like a the stage where you no, you're not allowed to have fun just stay down in the back because there's no point in moving your troops forward it's just gonna get sniped deal with it wait for the death cause to come somewhat close so you can kill them <laughs> Don't use heroes on that level. Yeah, okay. Again, circles back to not having fun on this stage. Um. Anyway, 
I think I'm actually gonna go now. We've been going for, I think, almost three hours at this point. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of tired, man. I'm kind of tired. Work 10 hours today. From 6 a.m., man, in the goddamn morning. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of like, I'm so overwhelmed by this stage because I'm kind of tired. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. <laughs> Two hours and 36 minutes. Well, that is, um, that's a, a good amount of time to end it on, I think. I'm gonna stream, gonna prop, gonna, I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I'm gonna play some more. Best believe it. I'm off tomorrow. No work. Because I was supposed to work the weekend, but then I took Saturday off, so I only gotta work Sunday. So. And I also, I'm also off mon uh, Monday again, so, you know, sick ass weekend r around here. Extra long weekend with a little bit of work in between. So that's cool. So, um, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Unless somebody has anything interesting to say here on the um, on the final note. Wait, why was it with Dusty at? He like showed up and then he just went away immediately. That's kind of sad. That was kind of sad. I guess I God, if Dusty, but Dusty stayed here, the stream would have gone on for like as long as he stayed. That's where it's gone, man. But Dusty is here. We just we can't shut it off. Just can't. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, it was fun. It's a really fun stream, and I think uh, it's it's looking promising so far with this uh, campaign. Um, kind of disappointed with Isfit and the Hollow, but I really think they should just like like do that in like have like a a, a package where you get both the hero. The stages and the tower, and just like have a have a pack where I only get the um, campaign, and then you can buy those separate if you want to. So you can just like shave off some of the price uh, on this, and because like, dude, who who fucking wants these? Who, who who wants them? Don't need them. So yeah, that's my take on it. So um. Good night, see you tomorrow.